Okay, so I was going through Reddit and um, I found this epic website and it's called uh, Coder.com and I was like, triggering, first thing, it was triggering. Coder.com, whenever someone says Coder, I'm like, dude, okay, I need to check that out. So, um, Coder.com, let me just open it up. Um, and uh, it's very triggering, it says server-powered software development. Code in the browser and not just any code, like literal code. Code as in VS code, Visual Studio code in the browser. How epic is that? And I was like, we have to try this out on camera. Okay, so I checked it out and it has like a VS code extensions, access to Linux. And one thing that like sprung up to me when I was thinking about, when I was taking a look at this was that now I can code on my iPad. I might even be able to take a look at code and edit it on my phone, maybe. Possibly. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be using my favorite browser. I'm oh, sorry, favorite IDE slash code editor, VS Code, Microsoft. Damn it. So I'm going to click on login. Um, okay, I'm going to sign in. I actually did already sign in once. Okay, so now we're going to create a new project. It is going to create a new project. Create a project, and I'm going to write in the project's name. The project's name is going to be Project One. Cool, I can. Oh, dude, there can take. Oh, what? No. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Open in VS Code. Damn. Damn. Okay. It has the same colors. Open VS Code. Yeah, it has the same colors as VS Code. Oh, they have a nice thing. Cool. 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 Does it still work with Control J? Yeah. Oh yes, it is. Literally. Oh, they have a terminal open for me to do stuff. Is there anything in it? Oh, there's nothing in it. Oh, but it, it, there's a little lag. I think it's just my internet. I think my internet is slow. Now, the thing is that all of this is happening in the cloud, right? I mean, they have, for some, they have given me like a shared instance to do whatever I want to do on this instance. But imagine this, okay, there's this company called Shadow. And the chat is supposed to be this game streaming service. So they're going to stream a game directly to your uh, device. So it doesn't matter which device you're on, iPad, iPhone, uh, Android phone, MacBook, PC. It's literally everything, the processing is happening in the back end and you're just getting the front end game itself. Obviously latency is an issue, which is, I'm in India right now. So for me, latency is a big problem. So that's which is why I'm going to type J. It takes a little while for J to show up, but that's okay because it, at least it works. So let me just run something. What do I run? Right, so I'm gonna run a node project. So I'm gonna do npm init. And uh, do the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. Then we're gonna do index.js. I'm gonna type index.js because, well, I want index.js. Okay, it took a little while for it to load, but yeah, that works. What is this? Toggle fast time. What is fast time? Time code. The coder server powers ID. Coder gives you a Linux virtual machine starting with 3 GB of space. Okay. Coder scales up your CPU, disk I/O, and network resources to make things incredibly fast with a service called FastSign. Okay. Collaboration allows you and anyone to. So, oh, oh, there is collaboration. That's pretty cool. What are containers? There's something called containers also, right? There was something called containers. Containers are essentially your personal Linux machine. Coder gives you root access, so you can install whatever you want. Let's install something on this. NPM is there already, right? Yeah, NPM is there by default, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to install Express. NPM install Express. Can I do a minus G? I can do a minus G. Okay, uh, so I'm installing Express. I'm going to run a node project. Uh, expresses, let's check a look if Express works. Express doesn't work. Oh, it's okay, whatever. I, I don't know why it's not working, but uh, maybe I should just install it regularly. I mean, it's supposed to work. The lag, the lag, oh my god, the lag. It's like there's no Express generator. Okay, the lag is crazy, but okay, it's still working. The fact that it's working is mind blowing itself in itself, so I'm okay with the lag for, for now. I'm not gonna use this for working right now but I actually like it it's pretty cool it's pretty cool turn off your computer click the reset button okay I can even do that 
Cool. I mean, there are, there are lots of things that we can do with this. Okay, so like I'll just write a normal print. Um, uh, hello world question mark and save. Yes, control S works. I'm gonna say node index. And it says error print is not defined. Oh, sorry, I'm so stupid. Console.log. I don't know, Python. Python, you know, I've been working on Python, so Python, yeah. <laughs> Python. <laughs> Alright, control J again. Alright, so let's just write Express. I'm gonna copy like a boilerplate code from Express. So, what the hell? Okay, cool. <laughs> I like, what the hell is this gone? So control C, paste it, control V, control J, control S, and then node index.js. Hmm. It says example app is listening on port number 3000. <laughs> Where is port number 3000? <laughs> okay, let me check something. Ah, it must be somewhere around here. This thing? This look like the world. Uh, oh, holy shit! No, this is this is not question mark. This is ex exclamation mark. Oh, sorry. I can do. I do the same thing. I just end this and run it again. Okay, this works. Whoa! 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 They've solved that issue. I, in my head, I was thinking, where do you run this? And they've solved that issue. Now I want to think about this. Now, does Git work? Will React work? You know how this feels like? It feels like I am on Linux. Literally, I'm on a Linux uh, server, which I have logged into with SSH, like an AWS EC2 server, which I've logged into. And then I'm typing and then the lag, it's pretty much the same. The lag is literally the same. So I'm wondering, yeah, it, I mean, it's the same, right? It's just a server. It's probably an EC2 server. It's probably hosted in AWS. Probably. <laughs> I'm gonna say git clone control B. Control B doesn't work for some reason. And I press, okay, it says, you must specify a repository to clone. But I did. What the hell? What the hell? Okay, now this is not working for some reason. It is a repository, isn't it? Like the whole thing. Does this not work anymore? Oh! Oh wait! Oh wait, this git clone https github.com slash rapport IT slash react node express es6 a roku template.git <laughs> Oh god, did you see what just happened? I typed it manually and it worked. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write everything by myself from scratch. Uh, I'm going to write npm install minus g create react app. I'm going to write that. npm install minus g create react app. Yeah, so it's like you use coder dot. So I use VS Code a lot. This IDE called VS Code. What you can do is you can open up a browser and just use the same interface as you are doing that. So which means that now I can use my favorite code editor on like an iPad or my even my phone or even my iPhone or even like it's like ubiquitous. It's everywhere in the browser. And it's just and they're the same tools to use every single day. <laughs> so yeah, um, so let's do that. Let's let's see how this is going to work. Um, so yeah, it installs. Now let's see if create React app is available to us. Create React app, and it is available to us. Holy shit! This is so exciting. 
I'm gonna do three reacts. I'm gonna save my app. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, this is, this is amazing. This is amazing. I fucking love this. I'm imagine me doing this on my iPad, but it doesn't work for some reason. Anybody at cooler.com, please fix this. Please. <laughs> Holy shit, this is so cool. This is so cool. I am I am like so hyped right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, damn, save me. Okay, please. Actually, this should be faster, right? It should be a bit faster. Dude, I, I would, if anybody at this company is watching, I would love to like, work with you guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I would love to do that. It would be fun. Okay, so let me just do npm start. Uh, do cd my app. Do npm start. Okay, they say it should be going to start develop an environment and begin. Actually, I think it got slower. Did it get slower? No, it didn't actually. It was the same speed, yeah. Okay, so it is running on my local host, so maybe it's over here. Can I save state? Can I save state? Can I save this entire thing? I can go back, right? And this is the 21 minutes ago. I, I can open this again. And it will save, open it up in the same place I left it. This is very exciting. <laughs> also, one more thing I want to do is maybe we can use an Android emulator. Android Studio. I'll just use Android Studio. Open in VS Code. Holy shit. Okay, cool. It is pretty cool. Yes, this is insane. Look at it. It's running on an ABD. If I flip it, okay, it looks like we need to change that orientation thing. Dude, no matter how, this is insane. The possibilities are endless. Like, very cool. Um, in India, I'm waiting for GeoFiber also. GeoFiber, please come quickly because we want your very fast internet. My internet is not that good. And, you know, poor people. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment on how you would want to use this uh, particular tool. I know how I would. Um, uh, uh, also, one more thing is, uh, if you want to support the channel, there are links in the description down below. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next one.